Restart the clock. The supplementary question, member for Oshawa. Thank you, Speaker. Minister, the shortage of family doctors puts additional pressure on our hospitals and emergency rooms. Angie in my community went to Lake Ridge Hospitals ER with chest pains and emailed me while waiting in eMERGE. She was told only one doctor was on duty and there were 119 patients waiting. I wonder how many of those people could have received faster care or avoided the ER if they were able to have seen a family doctor. So, Premier, over 44,000 people in Durham Region don't have a family doctor. Can I tell people who are writing to their MPPs from the emergency room to keep waiting or that help is on the way? Thank you. Mr. Health. You know, this, uh, this is really an important opportunity to highlight the many different programs that we put in place to assist our ED physicians, to assist our hospitals, to assist our paramedics. Uh, one of them I would highlight is, of course, the dedicated offload nursing program, funding program. specifically to ensure that a nurse, a respiratory technician, or a paramedic is offloading and taking care of those patients to ensure the paramedics can get back into community. Another one, of course, is the 911 models of care, where we don't just force paramedics to take individuals Order. to emergency departments. We have the opportunity now, whether it is for long-term care, palliative, and now actually expanding Order. it into diabetes and epilepsy. I understand the members opposite don't want to hear the good things that are happening well, in the province of Ontario, but Response. I will tell you that I am getting feedback that says these changes are making a difference and are working 